guys welcome back to the welsh beast youtube channel now i just want to give my thoughts on the news that wrexham have signed defender william boyle from huddersfield on a three-year deal their first signing of the summer but before i do that please do me a favor please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please come on board and join me if you can do that thank you very much Yes, as I said, Wrexham have made their first signing of the summer. The defender, William Boyle from Huddersfield Town on a three-year deal. I know the Wrexham fans all over the world are gasping for signings, gagging for signings, desperate for signings in some cases. I'm not. I don't think we need too many players. I don't think this squad needs uh, too much additions, too many additions. It's strong enough as it is. We saw the quality last year. It's always been a League One squad for a number of seasons now. The signings they've made over recent seasons have been exceptional. The Mullins, Toza, Hayden, O'Connell, Cannon. But we can go on. We know who they've signed, but this is a League One squad without new signings and I'd like to keep it together keep it consistent you know it's gelled it's clicked let's not disrupt it so I don't think Wrexham need too many signings maybe another striker we've looked at the likes of Alfie May we've looked at you know Nick Powell as I said there's no need to get carried away the squad is in very good shape and I think it's good enough to give League 2 a proper go. A proper go at League 2. It's a fantastic squad as it is. But they've made a sign-in. They've signed William Boyle, as I've said. A very experienced player. He's been around the block a few times. He's struggled to settle at clubs. But he, uh, he won the league at Cheltenham. He won League 2 with Cheltenham alongside Tosa. He was a teammate of Ben Tosa. He was named in the League 2 Team of the Year that season. Along with Paul Mullin and Jordan Tunnycliffe. So a quality player obviously. As I said, very experienced. He's played in League 2 and won the league. He's been promoted to League 1. Played there. And he's just come from Huddersfield, who are in the championship. So he's got lots of experience. He's been down in the non-league. He's, he's played in Scotland with Kilmarnock. You know, he's a winner. He's experienced. And, you know, you look at him and he looks a proper hard bastard. Take a look at William Boyle. He looks a proper hard bastard. Imagine him knocking your door on Halloween, eh? Imagine him knocking your door on Halloween and asking for chocolates. You'd give him the loss, wouldn't you? Chocolates, cakes and everything in your freezer. He looks a right hard case. And as I said, a very, very experienced player who you, you hope or you expect will add to this already fantastic squad. Did they really need a defender? I'm not sure. There's plenty of backup in defence and certainly central defence. But Hayden has been injured a few times. He's a gold machine, Hayden, but he has missed a lot of games. Toza can be inconsistent. But we've got Tunnycliffe, who's been a warrior the last few months of the season. He was rock solid. O'Connell has come in. So you have to think, was he needed? Is he needed? But certainly very experienced and certainly a very, very good player. In Parky we trust, in the management management we trust because Wrexham have shown in the past their recruitment has been exceptional. They know what they're doing. They have a vision, they have a plan and it's up to us to trust that plan and to give them the opportunity to conduct their business and carry out the work they feel they need to do. But I'm not sure if a defender was needed, but let Phil Parkinson decide what to do and just trust him. 
But again, it's another valuable addition to the squad. It's backup. It adds strength and depth. I've got a quote here from Will Boyle. It's exciting to be part of, obviously, the club. As soon as I knew there would be an opportunity to join, it excited me. It's a club that's only going in one direction. And we know that up, up is the direction it's going. It's a fantastic time to be involved with Wrexham. It's a fantastic time to come to Wrexham. There's a quote here from Parkinson as well. Let's just take a look at this. What has Parky said? I feel his character will fit in perfectly with the group and it's pleasing to get a sign in through the door prior to departing for America. Yes, today they've left for America, Sunday, July the 16th. The squad have left the UK to go on the American tour, which is going to be very exciting. It's going to be absolutely a fantastic experience for the squad, for everyone involved with the club. And it's just going to spread the brand further. Wrexham are big news around the world. They're very popular now in America. And this is going to strengthen that. Exciting times. They play Man United, as we know. Chelsea and LA Galaxy, as well as uh, an American team, as well. Uh, as well as Galaxy, they play another American team. So it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for the club to get experience and to branch out and explore more commercial opportunities. Because that is the name of the game at the moment. We've got to take advantage of what's happening. We've got to seize this moment, exploit the opportunities when they come, enjoy it. And like I said, benefit from all this. Make it count. So it's going to be a very, very, very exciting American tour with some interesting games, some exciting games. It's going to be, it's going to be a good move. Hopefully the, it will benefit the squad. It will benefit the club. It will benefit everybody. You know what I mean? So an exciting week coming up for Wrexham and their American tour. So again, they've got someone signed before then. They've done a bit of business. He can go over there now and get in, get involved and, you know, learn to fit in and get uh, get to know the group of players and get to know the team. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to get some business in. You don't want to be, you know, uh, playing in America. You don't want to be taking part in this tour with question marks over the transfer policy, struggling to get the signings you want, struggling to make the signings you want and you don't want to be seen to be failing in the transfer market. As I said, there's been lots of interest in the media. There's been lots of speculation in the media and there's been some criticism. People are surprised that signings are not coming. They've missed out on a few. There's been lots of rumours, but Will Boyle is the first one through the door. And like I said, they get him, they get him signed at a very crucial time. He can now get to know the lads and join in on this American tour. So an interesting sign in. I don't, I don't know how many saw this coming. I wasn't expecting a defender to come, I mean, so soon. As I said, I believe we could do with another striker, another goal scorer who can match Mullin. The squad is there, it's there, but we trust the management, we trust the recruitment team who have delivered so far. But this squad has been built up and I believe it's ready to have a good go at League Two. If things fail next season, then we can we can criticise, then we can question and then we can try and improve. But I think this squad is good enough to start League Two and it deserves a chance. It's a fantastic squad as it is, but... William Boyle has signed from Huddersfield. As I said, a very experienced defender. He looks the part. He's a winner. He's going to bring a lot of experience to the club. He adds strength and depth. But I'm not sure if he was needed. Unless they know things we don't and some players are moving on. That defence had plenty of backup. But we'll take him and we'll trust Parkey. So there we have it. William Boyle. Wrexham's first signing of the summer. And uh, let's see who else they bring in. But as I said, let's not disrupt 
the squad too much. Let's keep it consistent and, you know, don't dismantle and disrupt what we already have because it's looking good. So thank you guys. Let's look forward to the American Tour this week. I'm sure we'll all be watching. We'll all be fascinated by how it unfolds and unravels and what happens. I hope the boys enjoy it. Take advantage of this opportunity. Reach out to our American fans and business partners and sponsors. Reach out to the world and enjoy it. Let's enjoy these games against Man United, Chelsea and LA Galaxy. Let's learn from them. Grow. And I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic experience. Wrexham will, re Re Wrexham will return back to North Wales. A better club. A better team. A better squad. And a better club. This, 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 this American tour is very important. Very valuable. And let's, let's enjoy it. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.